Hey guys, it's Fletch. Uh, several of you have asked uh, over the last couple of months, you've seen my, my full loadout in the background as I talked about and did a review of things like the um, magazine pouches that I use. And so I wanted to show you real quick what my whole loadout was. So stick around, we'll be right back and I'll show you what it is. Thanks. So uh, several of you have asked about wanting to see my loadout because you've seen it at different times when I was showing you different things that I had done a review on. And uh, <clears throat> just with my health and everything, I haven't been able to, to do as many videos as I wanted to to, you know, to do the product reviews on, on the individual products. So I just thought that I would show you real quick uh, what my Raffleman's loadout is. And so, first of all, uh, what I have on here is uh, Wrap 4, uh, 8 color uh, desert camouflage BDUs. <clears throat> and uh, it looks amazingly, in my opinion, like Multicam, which is a licensed product of Cry. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm not saying it's Multicam, it's uh, 8 color desert um, and so anyways, uh, those are my BDUs. <clears throat> then I've got the Condor Tactical uh, Modular uh, Operator uh, Plate Carrier MOPC. And uh, <clears throat> this uh, plate carrier is a little bit different than some of the other ones out there because it has uh, the, the cut on here. It doesn't fool like I'll, some of them will come up in here and you would have a little bit extra real estate in your vest, but also that prevents you from being able to have a full range of, of movement. So um, again, uh, this is licensed multi-cam by Condor Tactical, and <clears throat> um, it's a plate carrier that carries a plate in the front and the back, and then two on the sides. Uh, what I have on here, everything that you're seeing here other than the BDUs, is Condor Tactical. And so let's just start on the left here and we'll work our way over. First off, I've got an admin pouch here, <clears throat> excuse me, that you could use for putting maps or 12 gauge rounds or you know just whatever extra items that, that uh, you might need in there. <clears throat> uh, in the front here, I have combination. These are combination AR-15, M4, or AK-47 uh, magazine pouches. And the, the reason why I bought these and the reason why I like these so much is because depending on what I'm carrying that day, whether I'm carrying an AK-47 or an AR-15, not a problem. I can just load up the proper magazines and I'm good to go. So there you go, and I've also done a review on these already, so if you want to see those, uh, I'll put a link to it right here, you can take a look. Next up is the uh, magazine pouch for pistol, and as long as it's a, a smaller caliber, um, a round in handgun, I don't think you'll have any problems. Uh, I have seen some of the larger, like um, 45 magazines that don't fit in here very well, but um, just something to think about. If it was like a Glock, you know, 9mm or something like that, it's probably going to fit just fine, or, you know, 1911, 45, things like that. All right, next is an administer or a accessory pouch that you could keep uh, an iPod in or something like that. And it's got, you know, positive retention strap here, along with Velcro. And then next, uh, flashlight pouch. And then on the right here, 
I have an uh, individual first aid kit, or IFAC, and uh, if you'll notice, uh, I intentionally have my plate carrier set up so that I don't have anything right in here on either side. And for me, uh, the, I guess maybe that's just a personal preference. Uh, when you're trying to sit down or when you're trying to uh, like drive a car or something like that, you don't want a bunch of crap right in here because it makes it very hard to sit down and to do anything. So uh, the further you try to keep things towards either you know the sides and the front, um, the less it impacts you know the things that you need to get done. Okay, so <clears throat> after the plate carrier and uh, all the accoutrements attached to it, uh, <clears throat> I have a Condor tactical battle belt. And uh, as you can see here, it's got plenty of, of molly uh, on here so that I could add things at a later time uh, because uh, financial constraints. I <laughs> uh, haven't yet spent a lot of time you know, getting any accessories to, to put on there or, or I don't really have a need for it, frankly, right now. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's there and they go all the way around, full molly, all the way around. <clears throat> and uh, if you're not aware, when you buy a battle belt, the, typically it doesn't matter who you're going to buy it from, they don't include the belt that goes through the inside of it. And you know, things like a drop leg holster or a drop leg holster or a, a dump pouch, uh, what happens is when you feed the, your belt through the padded battle belt, your uh, drop leg items are actually uh, fished through the belt. So the inner belt inside here is what's actually holding up the weight of the item so that you still have the full cushioning from the battle belt. And uh, uh, this is a pretty nice battle belt that does uh, typically stay in place pretty darn good. So um, I've got the battle belt and next we'll talk about uh, what I've got attached to it. All right, so next uh, on the left here, I've got a drop leg, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a drop leg dump pouch. Okay, so on the right here, I've got a drop leg um, pistol holster. It'll hold pretty much, you know, any, you know, uh, semi-automatic <coughs> pistol that might be on the market. And then last but not least, I've got a Molly compatible water bladder that's on the back. And then obviously you would just feed the hose over. And I didn't feel like putting the water bladder in it right now, just so I could look all cool on the camera. And uh, <clears throat> a hat. And I've been wearing this hat for a long time. You guys have seen me do a lot of videos with it on. So uh, <clears throat> that's my loadout. That, that's my uh, rifleman setup. And, uh, that's what I have to be at the ready, God forbid, that uh, we might ever need to use it. So, alright. Thanks, guys.